You are just the person I've been waiting for. You have no idea what just happened. Ha ha! The baby just left this place. Eh? She just left this and I was trying to get her attention. She was doing shakara for me. You know how women can be now. And I was thinking to myself, what am I going to do? To make this girl understand that she means a lot to me. Mm. Mabas, if that girl gives me an opportunity to show her love, which my life is complete, which my life is settled. Do you know what I call her? I call her the beauty that looks like a goddess. Eh? But I need your help. I need your help. You are dating her friend, so all you have to do is to help me. Eh? So that I can hurt myself. You understand? Eh? So what is it? Boss. Oh, eh, 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 wait. Boss, this is wrong timing now. Eh? You didn't even look at my face before reciting this your love poem. I didn't see your face, and your face was that way. What, what is it, Uche? Eh? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Are you suffering from heartbreak? Ah! <laughs> You cannot have a problem with your girlfriend now. Hey! You can if, if you have a problem with your girl right now, you are going to disfigure my future. Eh? Because a bell is my future. See, what you're going to do, you are going to go back. Even if you are the one that is right, you have to beg your girl. When you said to you now tell her my situation, so that she can help me talk to a bell, so that my situation too can be settled. Eh? Don't, 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 don't do this now. Boss, why are you doing this to me now? What am I doing? What eh? is the point? Come, you're serious. What is it? We are not talking about women here. This is not a woman matter. Huh? Okay. See, boss, I'm telling you that I just escaped being lynched, mobbed, killed by that table with that tout and his gang. He almost ran me over. And you're here talking about woman, a woman, a love, love. Who has time for that? Maybe with that, that, that tout. He, he almost, he almost ran me over. Oh, yeah, calm down, calm down, calm down. Yeah, calm down, we just need to come up with a plan. Calm down, calm down. Uh, uh, see, boss, let's leave what the problem was. Listen, we need, we need to build a network. A network of like minds. Yes, because we need to take our kingdom back. Amaka, I don't understand you. How can you say that Ikora Abasel Letushan is your boyfriend? Why would you say things like that? Or have you not been seeing him in my house? I only see him when he comes to fix your light though. I have this though. I have this. Hey! In fact, this my gist is only for those who have ears. And it's strictly for those who can listen. Blessing, please. I am not in the mood for your gist. Take it somewhere else. Mm. Wow. With this singular statement, it means that you have ears for my gist. And the gist is for you. In fact, it's for the both of you and you must listen by fire by force. Be a, be a, be a blessing. We, we are discussing an important issue before you rudely interrupted us. So if you don't mind. Mm. But this is how I pay my bills. Yes, that is how I pay my bills. I interrupt people who have nothing to do and give them something to do. I don't know what that means, but if you don't mind, just go back from where you are coming from. <laughs> and the gist starts now. Bam. Could you imagine? You've not heard that Ikota Abasi, the electrician, now buys flowers for a berry. In fact, he buys her so many gifts. Special gift at that. Shut up and say what you know. My dear, I am not telling you what I heard. I am telling you what I witnessed. In fact, I saw a berry coming out from his house this morning. It's possible she slept there last night. That's a big lie. It's impossible. Mm. My man cannot look her way. Let alone buy her gifts. Mm. Amaka, please, just be calming down small, small. Don't dismiss her like that. What if she's saying the truth? And what if she's not saying the truth? <laughs> now, let me shock you. I think Blessing is saying the truth. Thank you. How? Mimi, you are a darling. In fact, you are the international queen. Oh, you did this so head. Blessing, you know what? Your welcome here has expired. And I want you to leave my house right now. Mm. Mm. Anyway, 
If I must leave, I am going with Mimi because we are the only ones seeing the handwriting on the wall. There is no handwriting on the wall here. Mimi is useful to me. You are the bearer of bad news and you are the one I want to live here right now. Amaka, I am the bearer of bad news. Mm -hmm. You say this to me? No problem. I will leave. But mind you, I will never just you again. I will never come to your house again. Stay in your house. Let me stay in my house. <laughs> Born in serious notes. You may continue deceiving yourself, even when you know I'm telling you the truth. There is a strong element of sense in what she just said. Please don't patronize me. Blessing is a curse, and I don't need curses around me. To be honest with you, I never asked him to buy me a gift. I've warned him to stay away from me, but he wouldn't listen. I don't know what to do again. So you mean he's been buying you gifts? <laughs> and asking you out? Yes, but I rejected him outrightly. I can never have anything to do with a womanizer like him. And let me tell you, he goes about sleeping with different women in this village. I even heard I'm not the only one he buys gifts for. Wow. So he's really a womanizer. <laughs> that is very true. That guy is very, very useless. And I can't wait for the day our youth will gang up. Give him the beating of his life. Seriously. And I think that guy sleeps with married women. So what? <laughs> they did. I heard everything Mimi told you. But in as much as I am still confused, I still don't want you to believe her. There is more to what she said. And what do you know? Please, leave me alone. I feel that Apan's only crime in life is his cuteness. So don't allow people to destroy what you already feel for him. What makes you think I feel anything for that womanizer? Eh, uh, Chizaram, leave me alone. Sister, you can try as much as you can to deceive yourself. But you can't deceive the gifted one. My gifted sense and gifted eyes see them all. You are dying for this guy. The earlier you accept it, the better for us. Calm down. Are we still on this? See the way you're fuming. Oh boy, calm down. Calm down. And I understand how passionate you are about the situation at home, but <laughs> I have to apply wisdom here, Uche. I am not from this town. I have to be very careful. I'm not about to start making enemies with people. Eh? But boss, boss, you need to understand that you owe us your allegiance and everything. Because all the money you make is from here in our land. And whatever concerns us then, must of necessity concern you. Well, Boss. I have not said that. Good afternoon, Alpha. Good afternoon. Boss, mm -hmm. make her take that piece from her. No problem. It's fine. Mm -hmm. 
happened you've not been picking my calls? That is because I have been working. I expect you to understand that. I've been working. I have work to do here. Eh? I've been working. Amaka, please. You've been working, but you have not been working when it comes to a berry. What do you even mean by that? You, you think I don't know? You think I don't hear how you've been throwing yourself at her? And even if you know, how is it your business? Amaka, how is my personal life your business? Is something wrong with you? Eh? Look, this is my place of work. Okay, I'm not, I'm not having this. I am not going to have this here. This is my place of work. You're not having what? I'm not having what you're about to sell. Why are you here? Eh? Look, I have told you countless times, I am very busy. I am not going to begin to have some bedroom talk with you where I do my business. It is not right. Please, you have nothing else to say. Just please leave. Happen. I'm a colleague. Give to deliver to the number one. The number one. The number one. Brightest of them all. My lady, this is for you, and I know you know the sauce. I know the sauce. But what makes you think I will accept these gifts? And please, if you don't collect these gifts, I'll be in big trouble. Well, Go and tell that woman, Niza, that I will not accept his gifts. Tell him I said that his cover has blown and tell him I said he should stop being stupid. I can't possibly say that to him. He will kill me. Please. No. Tell him she said thank you. Thank you. Chizaram, return the gift. Thank you, number one. Chizaram, I said return the gift right now. Did you not hear him say he will be killed if you do not collect the gift? Please, I don't want him then. Oh, so what are you now? A guardian angel. I still remain your sister. Who wants the best for you? She's around. Go and return that gift. Don't come back here with it. Are you still here? Are you still here? I will take the back door. Jukwesa, I need you to go all out. Get me every information you can get on her friends. You see that girl? I want to make her my second wife before the end of this year. Big Daddy, this dream seems impossible. You know, I do not see a very like someone who agreed to be a second wife. I mean... Hey, will you just shut up? Shut up if you don't have any reasonable thing to say. Listen, I have the money to get whatsoever I want to get here in Aweno Abome. I have a lot of plans in place. By the time I execute the plans I have, you see a better. She will be begging to be my second wife. Big Daddy, I know you are capable. I know you have the money. You are heavy-witted. But um, I don't know how to explain this to you. Explain what? You know, most ladies who really like money are not moved by money when it comes to deciding for a life partner. I mean, that is where you come in. Become busy. Find out those things that move her and report back to me. Let me tell you, no matter what it is, that can move that girl. I am going to provide it and move her. Okay? So get busy. No problem. Gospel? Consider it. No anything. If there is anything, you call me. No problem. Pick it up from there. No problem. It's been mother. Mama, she's around is disrespecting me so much in this house and I cannot take it anymore. She's around. Why are you disrespecting your elder sister? 
if telling my beloved sister the truth. If wanting the best for her is disrespect, then I have to ask for forgiveness in advance for future disrespect. I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, sister. But I cannot sit and watch while things go wrong. No. Mama, did you hear that? Chizan, mind how you talk to your sister. She's your elder sister. You are not, you, you are not mates. Wait, too. Why am I even disturbing myself with this? Two adults. Sit the back one, let me rest. What is that? Mama, ask sister what I did to her. Just because I told her not to judge her man wrongly. Sister said I disrespected her. That is it. Good Akba. Oh God, I cannot lie to you. No, no, no. Oh God. You see that quotation that I I, 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 I I came up with? That is the lowest I can go. I'm telling you. And it's because it is, I, I want to use the best materials for you. I, I'm not like all these people that you give work and then the, you, they'll do your work and then the next day again, you, you call them the second time and you start quarreling. No, now. I have a reputation and it is only good that I do a good job for you, sir. Ha! <laughs> Sir, you called me because you know that I am the best. Yes, sir, I'm the best. I'm going to use only Nigeria cables for your work. I'm not going to use China. Okay. Yes, sir. I, you can go ahead and consider to give somebody else the job, sir, but I can assure you that you are going to wish you called Akpan for this job. I. I Ask your friend, your friend that I did the entire wiring of his house. Ask him. Even the cables that I use for the conduit wiring. Ask him. Everything original. I know my quotation might be happy. Eh, but... <laughs> Sir, I'm not being difficult. I also have to make some little profit from this thing. Eh, this is... Okay, sir. If you call me back, fine. But if you don't, I will still understand. Okay, sir. Thank you. Is it true? What your sister said, is it true? I don't understand. Is it true that Akban is asking you out, but you refused? Mama, this is very odd and uncomfortable. I can't be discussing this with you. I better check why I'm talking as a concerned mother who wants the best for her own daughter. I understand, Mama. But I'm still very uncomfortable discussing this with you. No, no. You shouldn't. I should be your best friend. In fact, the first friend you should know. You're confident. I'm equally your mother. So you should be free to discuss anything whatsoever with me. And I mean every meaning of that word. You're absolutely correct, Mama. But this particular pressing is one I do not want to discuss. If you ask me, Akman is a very hard-working man. He's a very good man. He seems to me a good person. And I believe you're wise enough to take the right decision. You know what is good for you? Do it. There is no need getting yourself all bucked up. Since you said Abba loves you, I can never cheat on you. Then watch a bear make a fool of herself. So when you told her that Abba bought you gift, she did not confirm it. She did not, but from her countenance, I know that there is something going on between them. Hmm. I need to teach that girl a lesson. And when I'm done with her, no man will ever look her way. What are you planning? Something I will handle alone. I do not need you to assist me on this. That man is the one I want. 
and anyone that wants to come between us we feel the fury of an angry woman if you will listen to me i will advise you not to pick a fight because of any man they are not worth it Apan is the one i love he is the one i want to spend the rest of my life with Apan is the one I see as my man. And trust me, I will go any length to silence the fools who are looking at him. This girl is wasting a lot of time. Big Daddy, just relax now. She will definitely come around. Good morning, sir. How are you, Blessing? I am fine. You sent for me. Sir, is it because of a berry? Listen, Blessing, I know both of you are friends. I called you here to get very specific definition. I want you to define to me the, the composition of that friendship. Who is here to you? Sir, to be honest, I don't know anything about a burial. In fact, I don't know a berry. I don't know. Do you actually think I'm a, I'm a fool or something? I gave you specific task of something you must do for me. You didn't do it. And here you are, denying your friend. No. No, sir. I'm not denying her. But I'm telling you the truth now. Me and Ebiri were just living in this village. We're living in the same village. In fact, with the true definition of friend, Ebiri is not my friend. I just see her once in a while we greet, that's all. It's Mirabel and Amaka that are her close friends, yes. Are you possibly telling me that I wasted my time with you or what? No, no sir, please. It's not what I said sir, I'm sorry sir. Okay, sir, I have an important information that will help you to get what you want. What is it? Ah, sir. You are still harsh now. I was thinking that this my special information would have calmed you down. Will you just sh shut up and stop provoking me? You have information for me. What is the information? I'm sorry, sir. Please, I'm sorry. I don't want to offend you. I'm sorry, sir. Um, sir, the, the thing is that Mirabel, Amaka, and Mimi are Iberia's close friends. Eh? But the person she confides in very well is Mirabel. If you get Mirabel, you'll be able to get everything you need about Iberia. Are you sure of this? I'm very sure, sir. Very, very sure. Absolutely sure. 100% sure, sir. Get out. Eh? Sir, I should get out, like I should leave. Yes. Big Daddy, don't talk now. Nice. You go, your time to expire. Eh, uh -huh. he's a good man. He cannot ask me out like that. At least, there should be commission for this important information I gave now. Something to, you know, Lachaka. Yes. You know, I swear before you come, Abby, they forget the meaning of my name. You don't wish like... I suck. Calm down. You don't wish like this. Why are you? Get down this girl before so Mother Bega can I go, I, go, I go compose you. I thought you were a good man, no? You're coming down, no? What's okay, you allow your color to deceive you. Be rainbow. Oh. Eh? Hey, 
You know, if not because I'm already committed heavily to a bere, this one has something that someone can still go for. Mm. Oh. You got to leave that one. This one has perishable fruits. No go last. Go quick sour. No sass every year, yellow, yellow. Be like tomatoes when no go last way. Let's focus on the berry. Something as if you have tested it. Big daddy, you suppose no me now. You quite say you no need to ask again. Now, this is my science. This is my science. I did the view. Huh? My science. I just did the view everything. I did see the future of that guy. That guy go sour. Even if you put up a freezer, self, he go sour before they break. Go they do pete 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 for bed. Hey, this every way is a beast. This man is an unfortunate thunder. He strikes anyhow, any day. So this important information I gave to this man with my mozu, he could not give me even shishi to la chaka. Hi! This man is wicked. Next thing you will hear them say, they are going to choir practice. What exactly are they singing there? Nonsense. I'm not good. I don't know Hey! I'm not rubbish. Wait! Obele, are you talking to me? What are you insinuating? Wait, oh. Are you indirectly talking to Blessing? Blessing, are you not the one that directly came down from every place moto? On a wrong one, eh? Let me ask you, what are you doing with a married man? Hey! Hmm? Wait, oh. Obele, what are you insinuating? Are you saying that I'm not going out to stop you or what? It's not about insinuating, no. Come on down, I'm not insinuating. See, let me tell you, eh? I saw you, Kolo Kolo, half on get direct. What are you saying? I know you are digging it down, down, down below with that holy gun. Eh? But let me shock you. <laughs> let me shock you. One day, eh? One day, a good man will come and meet me over there, my guy. I'm interested in one of these leftovers. Do you know what will happen? I will sit him down. Hmm? And I will tell him what will happen. I will tell him how it will be. Shut up! Shut up your dirty mouth! Why are you calling leftover? You are a fool for saying such rubbish to me. Eh? You know, Bless you, you are the bigger fool. Hey. In fact, you are extra fool. What are you saying? What, what, what are you talking about? I know you. I know you from head to the toe. I know how many of you that have been sleeping with them. Your names are here. Eh? Your names are here. Let, let me tell you. You. Eh? Plus uh, uh, blessing. Four times. Plus today. Hey. Five. Let me add it. God. Plus today. Five. Don't worry, you see what you are. Uh, uh. Same thing. Don't worry, when the good man will come, I will show you. You have not seen anything, sir. Who, 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 what kind of trouble is this? This useless boy now will go to the. To, will go and tell everybody what did not happen. Hey! God! What kind of trouble is this, eh? So, when did you say your parents are coming back? Forget about my parents. I don't understand you these days. You no longer give me attention. I don't understand what that means. Amaka, I give you money, good money. The kind of money I don't even give my wife. What other attention is superior to money? I told you I I have something for you to take care of and you don't even want to hear me out. What, what is your problem? Why are you sounding very ungrateful? You need to learn how to be grateful, Abaka. I told you there is a problem I am trying to face right now. Something that if I face it is going to be for our own good. And you are still having the time to talk about yourself. That has been selfish. Stop that. When I solve this problem, you will be fine, okay? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This. See you. I'm out of here, man.
Hey, 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 you, stop there. What's the meaning of this? I bring you good news. And Big Daddy over there wants to see you. Go and tell your Big Daddy that I, Mirabel, don't want to see you. Hey, 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 shut, shut, shut up your mouth there. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Are you not happy that you're among the living? Eh? I mean, if you say this grand, if you have to collect your dead body, see, you respect yourself. Don't allow me to force you. Just come and see Big Daddy. Leave me alone now. If you lay your hands on me again, I'll make sure I lock you up. It's okay, it's okay. Smart when I just touch you, you don't, you don't, you don't do like say you want me at. You are not vest, you are my pet you. Just come and see Big Daddy. And it's a privilege, it's an honor. Come and see Big Daddy. What if I refuse? What will you do? Eh? Hey! What can you do to wait, me? Wait, 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 wait. Now, wait till I know the like now, be this. Wait till I go do you, you not go like her. Wait till I go just do you now, you not go sweet for your body at all. Even your family people, they go verse. So just come now, just follow me now, jeje. Je. Listen, let me warn you. You think I'm one of those girls that intimidate in this village and get away with it? If you try any nonsense with me, if you try anything with me, I will make sure I deal with you. Mm. I'm not fair. Olodo. So you don't know, say you be one of, you day among those guests. Oh yeah, follow me now. Follow me, follow me. You day among those guests, you know. Me come on, go see Big Daddy. Leave me alone, no. Come on, come on. Let me move this thing. You never be coming down. Calm down, my friend. Every time you're vibrating like this, you're not even my spec. I don't know why you're doing all these things. What when you get me? Come down. Why are you harassing? Will you shut up your mouth there? You know they lock me up again. They all lost the policeman number. Big Daddy. Permit me to teach this girl a proper definition of harassment. Permission denied. You see this girl here? She's a friend. A friend of the house because she's friends with a bearer. And anybody who is close to a bearer as a friend is a friend of the house. So allow her. What do you want from me? Get in the car. I'm not going anywhere with you. You don't need to flare up. I said it already. I'm not going to eat you. I want to take you to a place where the atmosphere is controlled because there are some very specific questions I want to ask you. And I want you to feel the last to answer those questions. Get in the car. Every way. Ask whatever question you want to ask here. I'm not entering your car, let alone going anywhere with you. <laughs> Mirabe, the lioness of Enua Bomb, me. You know you took after your father when it comes to being bold. And I'm very proud of you. You know, when you are doing all this for all these young boys, they will be checking. But this is a way you, you can't do anything to me. So get in the car. Bold girl. <laughs> Please don't patronize me, sir. Ask your question. I'm listening. Ah. What is happening here, right? No problem. <laughs> Mirabel, the Mirabel. Looking so nice. Very simple. You hear that again? You want us to hold the meeting here, right? I'm going to say it. Everything cool and calm. Yes! You have it. Come and sit down. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I should come and sit on a mat with you along the road. As what? And what, please, as in? Big Daddy, permit me, my my romance is. Eh 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 Calm down, calm down. Have you seen the reason you don't have any woman in your life? Everything is not by power, not by muscle. I'm gonna get them all. Come on, 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 Stay there, I'm going on my own now. So stay there, don't touch me. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Don't, don't stay there. No, not there. I go okay, but stay there. Banana. I told you you're not even my spec. I don't know where, what you're afraid of. Sit down. Good. Yes. Aban. See, let me tell you the truth. In case you are looking for a wife, eh, do not look here. I'm telling you the truth. There are no wives here. That's not a very charitable thing for a young man that is from this land to say, eh, it's not 
I beg to disagree. Obele, I have seen some very beautiful women. Oh yes, uh, very good ones too. It might also interest you to know that I have decided that this is where my wife will come from. Ha! Yeah, yo. Abba, you have made a very big mistake. Let me tell you something. Eh? If you do exactly what you just said now, eh? you will end up with the leftovers. I know them. What are you talking about? Okay. You see that useless man that sells our land? That fool that sells all our lands? Eh? And his cabas? They have been sleeping with all the guests. They do it so openly and cheaply in a way that shows that those guests are very useless. I have evidence. I have the time and the dates. I have everything here. So I'm wondering why someone would want to punish their unborn children by making one of them their mother. Uh, Obele, you use very strong words. <laughs> Take it easy. This is your land. You're supposed to defend your land. Huh? But I know what I'm saying. I have evidence. I also know what I'm saying. I've seen some women here. Come on. Huh? Amina, you're Mirabel, stop. Listen, don't worry, all right? See, I'm going to warn him to stay away from you because I'm not afraid of him and his gang. You should be. That man is not nice. I'll try my best to avoid him and his gang. I don't want to involve you, Che. Oh, God, Mirabel. Are you seriously saying I should stay calm and do nothing while somebody threatens my girl? No, girl. No, will never happen. Won't let it happen. He did not threaten me. He just asked me about a berry and requested I should be giving him information about her. A berry? I hope you're not considering that. <sighs> Mirabel, I hope you're not considering that. Do I have a choice? Look, Uche. I know Eberu is my friend, and I should not betray her. But right now, I don't have a choice. Excuse me. I can't believe this. Mirabel. What do you mean? I'll... What did he give you? What did he promise you? What do you mean you don't have a choice? We all have choices and we make it. See, listen to me and listen very attentively. You will not work for that fool. I repeat, you will not work for that idiot. Period. I started with him talking tough. Then he touched me where it mattered most. And I decided to respect myself and give him what he wants. I don't know what to do right now. My boyfriend is insisting I should not give any information to Ibigwe. But he's threatening to deal with my boyfriend if I fail to give him what he wants. I don't know what to do. No, 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 no. I did not tell my boyfriend about the threat. You know how he behaves. He might take a drastic decision that might hurt him. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I came to check if um, <clears throat> your, your fluctuating voltage 
I came to see if it's still floating. I'll be very happy to change a neutral cable for you, free of charge. There won't be any need for that. Our light is perfect. It's obvious you know your job. Ah, coming from you, that means a lot. Uh, thank you so much for the compliment. It's the truth. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. I'm sorry now. I, I, I'm just checking. You know, I, I called yesterday. I, I called you like, what, nine times yesterday. You did not pick. Even before I slept off, I still tried one more time. Your phone was switched off. I was busy. <clears throat> Ebila, I like you. A lot. I like you so much. Please. Yeah, give me a chance now. Please look at me. See, see the way I'm shaking around you. Just, just give me a chance. I, prom I promise to show you how much I fear. Uh, I, I, I promise to show you love, please. And I've told you time and time again, Akwan. I am not interested in whatever it is you want to show me. Please leave me alone. Please, 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 please. I came all the way now to see you, please. Ebele. Look, I have never felt this way before. I'm telling you from my heart, I have never felt this way before. I don't know why I'm feeling this way. You have occupied my entire thought process. I cannot even go a day without wanting to hear from you or see you. I'm constantly thinking of you. Sometimes I can't even eat because you're not giving me attention. I know how uncomfortable this is for you. But I've also tried on my own part to see if I can stop feeling this way, but it's not working. I guess this is one of those feelings that you cannot get rid of. And that is how you also know that it, that it is real. Please. Please. I'm giving you my word today that if you just... Just give me a chance. I promise to be your peace. I promise to, to be your strength. I, I promise to show you love like you have never experienced before. I'll make you happy. that you feel since you're older than me, you're also wiser. But let me tell you, it's not by age. Oh. It's how blessed you are. I am a gifted child and you're lucky to have me in your life. So, don't take this golden opportunity for granted. Chizara, why can't I drink water and drop the cup for you in this house? Sister, my problem with you is that you don't use your inner sense. Alban is a good guy. And he obviously likes you. What is wrong in giving him a chance? Are you listening to yourself? Are you listening to yourself? What do you know? Sister, I know a lot. My gifted sense is telling me that you should give Abman a chance. He is a good man. Use your brain for once and reason with me. She's around. You have common sense. Yes. Gifted one. Gifted sense. Yes. Why haven't you used it? Eh? Why haven't you used it to make us a millionaire family? It's only my matter you know how to use your gifted sense. Get out of this place before I slap you. You can never. Just I'll give him a chance now. So what are you going to do right now? Honestly, I'm confused. I don't know why Ebigwe has refused to hear me out, let alone helping me. I must do something about it. But don't you think it's ridiculous for you to ask someone you are going down with to help you get another person you want to go down with? Are you going to judge me now? Just calm down. Calm down. Let's think of what to do. 
The only thing I'm sure of right now is that I will never allow a bere take what belongs to me. Never. But you know you can actually do this on your own. As a woman, I mean, you can do this on your own without involving a big way. How like, will I do that? You have a power. A, a, as in a different power as a human, like to do some kind of kukere things without involving that thought everywhere. How? Now she finally acknowledges me, me as the most intelligent one. So let me tell you what. Oh, sh keep it to yourself. I don't need your suggestion anymore. This is my fight and I will go about it my way. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't need my intelligence on this? See my friend a berry. Now leave the way. Leave the way. Madam Blessing, my sister Iberi has no use for you. My gifted sense has revealed to me that your presence in her life is toxic. So leave my sister alone. Shut up! Are you her mouthpiece? If a berry does not want my friendship with her, she tell me herself, no you. Now leave the road. As a sister with a gifted sense, my sister don't need to tell me before I know. Do you know I can slap you now? Do you know? Leave the road. Leave the road. That will permanently give me a reason to buy you from this compound. Listen, blessing. You may convert all other compounds to your drama stage, but not this compound. Shut up. Chizaram, get out of my way. Chizaram, ma'am. Come on. Are you mad? Ow, I'll slap you now, you idiot. What's going on here? Eberi. Eberi. It's obvious that you and your sister are getting up against me. Anyway, let me just deliver my message to you and leave this place at once. Let me see. Uh, uh, what's going on? Chizaram, what did you do? I am simply making use of my gifted sense to put things in order for my sister who obviously has refused to look beyond her nose. Um, listen, I am sorry. I do not know what Chizaram has told you, but I am very sorry. You are welcome to our house. Our house, you said? Yet you will not allow me to contribute my, my gifted sense in putting things in order. Chizaram, please, will you stop all this your gifted sense nonsense? In fact, leave. I will leave, oh, but God knows I've tried. But the children of the world will, will not listen because they don't have gifted eye to see. Chizaram! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Sit. I just gathered a big way sold another land yesterday. Ah, Your Majesty, that cannot be true. I met with a big way and I warned him to stop. Yes, in fact, I ordered him to stop. And he gave me his word. He couldn't have sold another land. And I am confirming to you that he lied to you. Listen, that young man is daring me. Trust me, I am going to crush him. I will. Your Majesty, please, let me handle this. You see, no matter what happens, Ebiwe is an asset to us in this kingdom. This kingdom of Abomini. What nonsense are you blabbing? What I'm saying is this, Your Majesty. If you make him go in for this, it will not be good for any of us. Please. Wait. Are you saying that 
we should condone a criminal mm. simply because we feel that he's an asset in this kingdom. Is that what you're saying? No, no, Your Majesty. But please, calm down, please, Your Majesty. Ah. Your Majesty. Please. Let me handle this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Maybe we no, don't worry. Let me handle it. Please. I see. Yes. Please, don't do anything yet. Please. I don't understand. What are you saying? Mm. Iberi. I'm not supposed to be telling you this now. But <laughs> what are friends for? Luke. Ebigwe loves you. And he wants to marry you. In fact, he's ready to do anything in this world just to have you. He obviously doesn't know when to stop. He obviously has the money. In fact, Ebigwe has the money to marry any woman he wants. All the women in this village are praying for this golden opportunity. What exactly are you saying? Are you saying that I should fall for a character like Ebigwe? A fool that knows nothing but to extort and oppress his people? A fool that steals community land and sells to other community? All in the name of being a youth leader? Am I mad? And am I para? No, now. See, Ebigwe wants me to help him to have you, but I'm here to do otherwise. I don't understand. <laughs> Ebigwe is like an unfortunate thunder. He strikes even his creator. In fact, he has no bearing. He can strike anytime, anywhere. And I wouldn't want such calamity to befall you, my friend. I'm confused. You're yeah, confused? Mm. Okay, let me put it this way. So you understand. Ebuigwe has been pressuring me to get you. In fact, he was asking if I know anything about you. I had to lie that I don't know anything about you. So he would stop pressuring me. Hey, Barry, let me advise you. Run for your life. Run for your life, oh. If you know you have nothing to do with Ebigwe, run for your life. Mm. What exactly are you saying? I should run away from my town because of a character like Ebigwe. What are you saying? Yes. If not for Ebigwe, run for your dear life because he can even kill you. He does not spare anybody. And you know I'm saying the truth. Well, just in case he listens to you, tell him that he is a fool. Eh? I should do what? A berry. <laughs> a berry. A <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Why does it appear as if you think I'm joking with you on this? Eh? I don't understand. No. Oh. The king is angry with you, very, very angry, that even after his warnings, you still went ahead and sold the other land. I'm gonna warn. He may decide to get you punished for this. You know what? Isha goes here. Go and tell the king to bring it on. What is wrong with this man? Can't he leave me alone? You see that king? He is the least of my worries right now. There is something else that is bothering me, and I will appreciate it if you can allow me to concentrate. Please. You are not in the good books of the king and you are not bothered. You are not worried at all. He is also not in my own good books. Please. Hold on. Uh, yes. Can I get an update? Yes, boss. Uh, your number one has refused to collect the gift from me. Give her the phone. Okay, boss. Ma, please. He wants to speak with you. Tell whoever it is that if he cannot show up here and show his face, he should forget about it. Hello, boss. She has also refused to collect the bag and the phone from me. You see what? The time has come for you to prove to me that indeed you have been working with the mafia and you, you know everything. Talk to that girl. Convince her to collect that gift. Tell her whatever you can invent that is sounding so sweet. Hmm? Don't come back here with those gifts. And don't come back with bad news. 
Ta mère la chère gagne. Ma, please, if you don't collect these bags from me, I will be in big trouble. Please save my life and help a brother. I beg you. And if you don't leave here right now, I will begin to scream until my neighbors come out. I will tell them you came here to steal from me. Tell that your boss that if he cannot show his face here, he should forget about it. Some of us have not received any gift from any man since we were born. And some people are here rejecting gifts. The irony in this life is difficult to bring under control. Do you know you are very stupid? For always poking your nose in things that don't concern you. See, maybe you should just help yourself. Do what she just said or tell him to show himself. You don't understand. I said leave. Please. Neighbors! You see, <clears throat> for the records, I have done what I should do as your partner in crime. But if you choose, out of your own wish, to continue undermining the warnings from the king, hey, he may decide to descend on you. And when it happens, please do not blame me. Noted, sir. Uh. You have done your part, noted, sir. Okay. But I just want you to do me a favor. You see that king? Go and warn him if you can. Let him mind his business. Let him live a way alone. If that man fails to leave me alone, I will make this kingdom ungovernable. In fact, I am going to do something that the whole place may actually go up in flame. Everybody will be affected, I'm telling you the truth. And if I am forced to the wall and I decide to do something, you may you, I will not even remember that you're my friend. Don't work according. No. What do you intend to do? Give it to no. What can you? What will you do? Even what can you do? no. If you are sure it was Atma who sent that gift, why reject it? But why is he sending me gifts without showing his face? I told Obera to tell him to show his face. Have you considered the fact that he might be scared due to how you have been treating him? Well, that means he's not man enough to face his fears. Tell me, what will I be doing with such a coward? <laughs> babe, be coming down. <laughs> you blow videos boy rice like this. I beg, babe, leave me now. I never said I wanted to marry a womanizer or date one. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Atman does not appear to me like a womanizer. Hey, so you are one of those people that he's still holding captive with his calm looks. And of course, he has a good job, he understands his job, so... Yes, he has a future. That's an edge. He will use that to catch all the women in this village. But you see me, Eberi, I will not be counted amongst them. I think you're not judging the right guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. I don't have anything to do with you. Why are you here visiting me? Well, Ebe, I finally decided to show you myself. For you to understand that it has been me all this while. I have been the one sending all those wonderful things to you. And you have been the one rejecting all of them. This is a man who is prepared to go all out right to the end of the world just because of you. I am that man who has been admiring you, your secret admirer for all these years now. And let me tell you something. This is a man who can do anything at all to make you happy. Is that not very romantic? Wait, excuse me. You have been the one sending gifts to me? Is there any other person in this town who is qualified to send those, or who can actually afford those expensive things I've been sending to you? Great. Thank goodness I haven't opened any of the gifts. They are all still intact. I don't understand. Why should they still be intact? Those are designer things specifically made for you. Because I see you as the only qualified babe in the whole of this hour, Enua Abomene, who is qualified. 
to be handling we are inexpensive and designer things and that's why they are provided for you sir please i do not understand what it is you're saying right now i want you to leave i will bring all your gifts to you intact no wonder blessing said what she said but let us tell something what did she say it's none of your business please leave I will send your gifts across to you, you as soon as possible. You cannot be saying you should send things back to me because they cannot be sent back. They are yours. Designer things made in your name. You should be asking for more, actually. And let me tell you something. If you ask for more, more will be provided. You don't understand that? Father, keep on our day. When you're tired, you can leave. Hey, ben. I'm going to have better. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Aban. Eh? Does he ever occur to you that many of these people who claim they love you do not love you? Oh, Billy, what are you talking about? Nobody has claimed to love me yet. As a matter of fact, I have been the one looking for love, but I have not even managed to find one. Have I have told you. <laughs> you cannot find love here. You cannot find love here. You see these women, they don't know the meaning of love. Uh, oh, Billy, you know I would always disagree with you when it comes to that, because I know that you're not in good terms with the women of your land. So you will always talk down on them at every given opportunity, and it's not good. Is that what you think? That's what it is. That I'm talking down on them? <laughs> but it is what it is now. Uh, Billy, as a matter of fact, I'd advise that you begin to develop interest in one of them, because your future lies with them here. Aban, are you insulting me or what? How can you say that my future lies with women? Calm down. 